what's happening. What are y'all doing today? I'll tell you what I'm doing. We're gonna do eyebrows. I have my eyebrow tutorial somewhere on my saved highlights, but I do so many, in case you're wondering, if you've seen one of my saved highlights and then it's gone, I do so many that IG can only hold so many that they delete the older ones. I don't even know how many I've done. I've been doing these Monday through Friday story tutorials for four or five years straight. So it's kind of yucky. It makes me a little sad that we lose all that information, but I'll just do it again. Now I'm gonna start by saying, I have a very specific brow style. Not everybody enjoys the way I do my brows. But that being said, there's gonna be tips here. There's gonna be tips no matter how you enjoy doing your eyebrows. In fact, I just remembered a picture of Selena where Hung did her makeup. Let me go get it. And that's my brow style. I love that brow style. I love it. <laughs> you see how they have shape but then the hairs, they go the direction that they grow, but it's somehow still soft, but defined. I know that was a lot of information, but ugh, I love these brows. Let's just look at them. Selena's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I do them. But again, you're still gonna have a lot of information no matter what brow style you prefer. Now I'm gonna talk very quickly. I do maintain my brows myself. That just means I pluck them and I try to keep the shape. I have had my brows done a few times and by a few times i think three times in my entire life but i just know the shape that i'm after i unfortunately i cannot tell you how to shape your own brows i do suggest going to a professional and please make sure that you go through their work i love ig for that just make sure that we go through make sure we're liking what that person is capable of doing but i can't really tell you about shaping because you'd have to be here with me and you're not here with me and then i'd never be able to do tutorials if i did everything through my dms and helped each and every one of you so it's a, i'm sorry but there are lots of talented people that can shape your brows and keep them maintained now this is one of my favorite tips so we always do our skincare and our skincare goes into our brows as it should one of my favorite tips most of you probably already do this because we've talked about it grab any translucent powder powder the heck out of those brows the drier your brows are the longer your brow products will stay the easier they're gonna go on I'm gonna be able to draw little baby hairs on my brows because they're so dry there's no slip this doesn't affect makeup later it only helps it's amazing please do this I don't care what kind of brow that you enjoy creating. Powder your brows, it changes everything. And if you do want to groom them, it actually makes them easier because your tweezers are going to grab onto those little hairs. I don't have any, I, I groomed yesterday. Um, but it's just going to grab on so much easier and no slip. It's one of my favorites. Now, before we move on, I need to tell you, listen. I used to watch brow tutorials and the products that they were using would not work for me and I thought something was wrong with me. Nothing was wrong. Other things were wrong, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I have extremely coarse brow hair, very coarse. Think almost boar bristle brush coarse. So certain brow products that work for a lot of people that have very soft, beautiful, fine hair that I wish I had it, they do not work for me. I also um, look for products that don't completely shellac the brow hair down. That's beautiful, but it just hasn't been my vibe. And I look for very specific products. So that being said, I want you to kind of fill of your brow hair Oh no, we lost one. Don't you just hate when you lose a little brow hair? <laughs> I think figuring out what kind of brow hair you have changes everything and it changes the products. It changes what you look for because at the time I thought that the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel was going to work the same way on me as it was the person I was watching with the beautiful, just soft, 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 soft brow hair. And it didn't, so I thought I was just bad at makeup. So if you figure out what kind of brow hair that you have you can find a product and the product that i'm going to use today which i'm going to show in just a second is going to be great if you have coarse brow hair it's going to be great if you have fine but if you have um very coarse brow hair like i do you're you're gonna like it but okay 
moving on. But this is all important. I know it's a lot of talking, but it's so important. It's better than me just being like, I love this. And then putting it on and then being like, you should get it too. So we have to do all the talking. I know it's a lot, but it, it has to be done. I love this. It is a very spicy price, but you get your spoolie, you get your brow pencil, and you get the best, oh my gosh, the best brow pen. I've used them all, all of them leak, all of them dry up, and then you can't draw your tiny little brow hairs. <sighs> Name it, I've used it. This is, it's the best. It's just so fantastic. Whatever these mechanisms are, um, the how the product flows out, same thing with the liner, whatever Valentino was onto with that, magical magical so what i like to do is i'll actually comb my brows this way do you see how aggressive <laughs> uh, i actually have to go hop in a meeting so i might disappear but i'll be back so then we're taking the pencil part and i'm going to start to kind of push this down notice that i'm not drawing a line i'm kind of pushing it downward into the brow hair i might draw a line in a second but still not a harsh line I love these one minute slides because you get to see it in real time. Still pushing down. And I'm not really going out of where my hair grows. Do you see that? Jane, you need to go out. You need to go out, Bubba? Oh no, you're readjusting. By the way, I did link the color that I used, but just in case, I used the shade Granite, which is the darkest one, and I love it. Also, you just saw me, because I'm very expressive when I talk, whenever you're doing this, make sure that your brows are relaxed. We don't realize it, but sometimes even when we're focusing, we wanna be like this, or we, I do at least. So just make sure that you relax your brows because mine stay wanting to run away. <laughs> I'm also using a very light hand. Um, remember, we talk about this a lot. We're holding it farther back so we have lighter pressure, but we still have really nice control. So sometimes I do this if I've just reshaped my brows. This is going to be scary, okay? This is gonna frighten some of you, but listen. I scare because I care. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt my head back a little bit. And you just do a really light line, but look at that. It really helps get them more even. This wipes away so easily. And then I'll do here. I don't always do this, by the way. But if you really want to practice, this is a fantastic way to practice. And then we'll go this way. Fill in this sparse area here. So let's now kind of brush this through. This kind of blends it. Nice. I still see a little area here I'm not enjoying. Time to go and get in there. Now I'm gonna define this area a little bit more and I'm using a little bit more pressure, but not too much. Okay, nice, nice. This area is aggravating me. There we go. Okay, now let's brush them up. And that just creates definition, but you'll notice that my brow hair is still covering that line and that's gonna make it look a lot softer. That's nice, and then look. 
Now I am gonna leave a little bit of this just as a guideline, but you'll see that. I, I'm, I'm here, I was saying I'm here to help. I'm not leaving you, trust me. But this is still gonna act like a better guideline because you can see this one's more full towards the front. In fact, I don't even want that line. This one I have to draw a few more hairs towards the front, but I'm gonna put this back on now. This is already looking so nice. Most of you are probably going, no, it's not Rose, stop. <laughs> I love this thing. Okay, so from here, I'm still gonna use this line as a guideline. Do you see how tiny that is? And then I'm going into the hair and kind of bringing it upwards, hold it pretty far back. Look at that, I'm telling you, I used them all. This one's so much easier to use and then just wipe that away. And just tap it in and then we can kind of buff this one out perfect and then let's just keep drawing these on yes i don't know why this is so much fun to me so from here i'm going to brush it up and then if i see any sparse areas Do you see how hair-like that is? Now I'm over here, we can use a little bit more pressure. And then I also want you to notice that I'm using the side of it. See that? I, I'm being a little bit more aggressive just to kind of show you. And then if you don't like it, you just, there you go. So easy. So I'm gonna come over here now and I'm gonna build this up, get a few gaps. So while this is drying, cause it does need to dry on the brows, I let it dry, give it 10 seconds. Then I brush back through to see We need a little bit more here. I know I'm supposed to be on a call right now, but here I am. Nice. My call got moved. <laughs> okay. Now we're moving on to the brow situation. And by situation, what is this? It's called a laminating brow wax. I don't really laminate my brows. Uh, I don't. I don't lay them flat. And this is so important to understand. There's such a difference between laying them flat and then just kind of keeping them fluffy and defined. And that's where I'm at. I will say this is probably one of the best products for the technique I enjoy. And this is the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. It, laminating's in the name, but that's still not what I do. But if you have coarser eyebrows like me, I really feel like you're going to enjoy this. Now there's a little bit of a technique to this and I'm gonna show you. I also wanna talk about a spoolie I really enjoy, but we're not there yet. So that's a lot of product. It's a lot, okay, look at that. It's a lot on there, it's too much. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to get a little bit off, scrape it on the lid, goes right back in, there's no waste. And now I'm gonna run this through, but I want you to notice I'm not pushing the brow hair down. I'm just lightly flicking this through my brow hair. There's no pushing this into my brows. For one thing, that might take away that product that we just applied, we don't wanna do that. Now, we're gonna to need to switch over to a tool that I enjoy. Now this spoolie here is from Beauty Blender and these little silicone teeth on coarse brow hair, like mine, 
So good. Now we do want to run this through a couple times. Still going very lightly. I'm still not touching my skin. Just kind of put them together. Nice. You are going to see me wipe that off. Wipe off any excess. Let it dry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feels right. Now we're going to go in with the spoolie side, not the little toothy side. And I'm just going to Push them around. Look at that. <gasps> That's so nice. And it holds all day. Absolutely all day. I really enjoy this. No flaking as long as we're not putting too much on. And then, once you have it like this, if you see a sparse area, just pull a little bit of that brow pin through it. And you're good to go. And there you have it. Now, again, you might not enjoy this brow style, but there are definitely some tips here. And I wish I could help you more on shaping and things like that, but there's so many talented artists out there that do eyebrow maintenance. And um, as for lamination and things like that, I've never had that done. I just like makeup. If I can't just wash it off, I'm probably not gonna do it. Um, but for me, I just, Lamination's not my thing, but I do hear it speeds up the getting ready process. So just do some research. Uh, again, it, the brow artists that I would have known, they're all in LA. Um, I'll tag the brow artist I know, and she's fantastic. Her name is Tori Lynn. This is her at. It's been years since she's done my brows, but I trust her and she's fantastic. So if you are in the LA area, she's definitely great. She gets it. Um, I haven't been to anybody in Houston. Once she did my brows, I just kind of followed what was happening there. So I'll tag her. She's fantastic. And I'm still getting questions about if I've ever microbladed. I have not. Um, I would assume that you could see that I didn't when I have that off, but maybe. No, I don't have nothing. Mm. If it's not going to happen in the Starbucks line, I'm not going to get it done. <laughs> That's, that's all I can do in one day. A Starbucks run and the occasional Randall's stroll. <laughs> now I'll save this to my highlights and I hope that this was helpful. Tomorrow we'll do another look, but I just thought today we've, we've been wild. And I'm gonna save yesterday's look to my highlights. And you probably want to rewatch that because there was some information there. Heck, I wanna go rewatch the Dagum video. But I have a lot I need to film today, new products, and I'm so excited for y'all to see them. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Tonight's post is going to be a Makeup Forever ad. You're gonna see this, but you've seen it, and it wasn't an ad here. And then you're gonna see it after. I'm excited to post it, because it's a fun video. All right, I love y'all so much, and I'll see you in the comments tonight. Today we're talking powder foundation, but not just any powder foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation. I know that y'all want the swipe here, but I find the best way to apply it is actually in sections starting this way and moving upwards. Now they did update the formula, but don't be alarmed. We're still gonna get that blurring, mattifying effect that lasts up to 24 hours. Instead of swiping underneath the eye, I'm just gonna go ahead and press it underneath here. So here's before and after and the powder feels so lightweight it's great for balanced oily and combination skin types water resistant and sweat proof i'm gonna need that this summer it just checks all the boxes that we need a powder foundation to check look at how quickly it covers up my ear redness that's the real test finish up with some bronzer and blush so you can see how nicely they pair now i know how much we love the original formula but i really feel like you're gonna fall in love all over again with the new makeup forever hd skin matte velvet